Uh, Y'all pray with me. Uh, Isaiah chapter 54, uh, verse 14, it says, In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear and, and from, from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall gather, they, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever, say whosoever, whosoever. Uh, shall gather uh, together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and, and, uh, uh, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waster to destroy. And this is what y'all like, verse 17, and you may rest, you may take your seat. He says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Spirit of the living God, whatever you're going to do in this place, God, hey, yes, God. do it, God. Saturate us tonight. In the name of Jesus, God, if you want to rain fire down from heaven, if you want to rain glitter down from heaven, if you want to heal, set free, whatever you need to do here in this place, God, I'm available. God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the people of God say amen as you take your seat. As you take your seat, amen. I'll try not to be long. There are a couple of people, amen, even as we're speaking now, are receiving their healing. Here! Here in this text, if you notice verse 14, what does that say? It says, it says this, in righteousness. And, and if I had, y'all, those y'all that know me, y'all know, I don't like to, to give subjects and titles to message because I personally believe that it puts God in a box. But just for the sake of us remembering, and me, myself, uh, because oftentimes I have to go back and say, babe, I need to watch what happened because I don't even know what happened. But for the sake of us remembering, I want to pin this title here. Uh, change your appetite. Change your appetite. And see, right there, I think I, I, I lost about half of the room. Because somebody actually thought, Brother Kevin, that I was talking about food. But I'm not talking about food. When your appetite is conducive, and when your appetite is yearning for the things of God, God has no, he has no choice but to show up. Because he dwells where his spirit is. Oh my God, I just missed it. So when, when, as, as, when everybody, well, I didn't say everybody because I don't know. I pray everybody in this room is saved. That would be so up a blessing. But I would have to be SpongeBob SquarePants to stand here and say, yeah, everybody's saved in this room. Because somebody that's in our very presence is don't know the God that we serve. And so my assignment today is illuminate the, the Christ, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to where those individuals or that individual say, what must I do to be saved? Yeah. That's my task. He says, in righteousness. You don't hear anything anymore about righteousness, people of God. Because everybody just want to do me. I just want to do me. Even in the church, I just want to do me. Well, don't you know, baby, that doing you going to cost you some stuff. Doing you going to cost you some. And you know what? Here to stay. This is, this, this, see, when, when you got to know how to fight spiritual, when you fight spiritual warfare, you have to be able to fight the enemy to where he understands you and you understand him. And so the enemy is, y'all know he's a deceiver. Right. Amen. He's the prince of the air. Yeah. Amen. And this is what, see, this is what y'all are missing right now. What's really going on if, you're, if you are saved, if you are a believer? What you're really going through now is not meant to hurt you. See, somebody just goes out and shout right there because you barely made it in this building. But you're going through all kind of turmoil, all kind of hell, and you 
want to know if God be for me, who can be against me? Oh, but when you change your appetite, when you change your appetite, and changing your appetite, oh, thank you, Lord. Changing your appetite might mean that you let some people go. But guess what? When you get to talking crazy, bye-bye, I'll see you later. Because we cannot be contaminated with people that's not trying to do it the way God said to be. And one thing, one of the ways that the enemy fights us, and he often wins, if, if you lose money, you can get money back. If you if you lose a house, you can even get a house back. Uh, you lose a spouse, you can even maybe get married later on in life if you so choose. But the one thing none of us can get back is time. So the enemy is so slick now. What he's doing, he's putting all this stuff right here, thinking you got more time. And you might walk right out of this house and drop dead. I'm waiting to get myself together. But somebody tell me how the deck work because it didn't work for me. I was messed up and had to crawl to God. I said, Lord, I need you. See, 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 to understand my story, to understand that you gotta know my story. When I came into church, I was so messed up. That when the brothers hugged me, I would push them off. Because I had never been hugged by another brother. I had always seen if you hug a brother, then you might have been. But there is what we call that agape love. But I can love you. I can love you because I want to see you, amen, in purpose. I want to see you, amen, be all that God can have. Somebody say the agape love. So as we ch as God allow us to change our appetite, see that we, we believers are missing that. You know how you know how I know we missing it because let uh, brother so and so get up there and exalt better than sister so and so. Somebody looking cross faced. Yeah, I said cross faced, not cross eyed. Because your whole face twisted. Well, you should be celebrating that brother and sister because we all on the same mountain. Yeah. 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 You know what? This is just me. For those of y'all that struggle with that, you need to come out of it. Amen. I refuse to say, I mean, I am in Christ. Yeah. One of my brothers or sisters doing well in whatever capacity. And look cross faced. I can be your biggest cheerleader right here on the sideline. Go ahead, up, bro. Go do it. Do your thing. And that's what the church is missing. Will you ever able to celebrate your brother and your sister as if it was you? God will look down for all and make you die. Make you shall have what you speak. Watch this. He said in verse 15, he said, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever, got, whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. I'm just going to just pull the bus over right there. Wait, I'm learning this, Apostle. I'm learning this, Apostle. Man. As you grow in God, as you get closer to him, Amen. First of all, everybody ain't gonna like that. That's right. I just gotta say, I know we in, we in church. Yeah. And somebody might be looking at the cross side right now, it might even be you, but hey. Everybody ain't gonna like that. 
But how do you continue to grow in God when you know brother and sister so and don't so so don't care nothing about what you do? What does that mean? That means as God is growing you, you got to go down. See, people think holding this mic you all up here, but what you don't realize, you got to go down.
big ears? Some of us can't even stay locked up with a few people a few days. Not a long time I'm teaching and exemplifying the Christ, the Lord and Savior. Come on, y'all. So there had to be, and watch this, don't y'all miss this, there had to be an appetite type shift. See, when, when God shifts your appetite, oh, y'all don't miss this, don't y'all miss this. When he shifts your appetite, food is no longer an issue. Well, how do you say that? This is how I can say that. Because I fast now more than I eat. I don't look like it, but I do, I do, I do. Because fasting has become a lifestyle that the enemy don't even understand. How is he still trusting that God going through all of it that he's going through? Yeah. But you got to know, you got to be able to look at the enemy and say, don't he sway me? Uh -huh. Yet would I still trust him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you ever imagine this? Imagine you fighting an opponent and you know that opponent's every move. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm right there. You already know they're going to throw a left hook. You already know they're going to throw so as you knowing this, you want to be able to counteract what they're doing. That's the way it is in the spirit. You have to get, you got to get so close to God that as the enemy shooting at you, you already know how he's coming. I see that. I already see that right now. I see that. Oh, I got gotcha, I got gotcha. Thank you, Lord. But nobody don't want to go there because it's work. You got to labor to go there. You got to do the 3 a.m. prayers to go there. Amen. And most importantly, it can't be about you. Wow. 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 Amen. Somebody's getting the appetite shift right hey, now. Hey, go ahead. Watch Woo. this. We almost there. Don't take us. Uh, verse 16 says, Behold, I have created the smith that blows the coals in, uh, in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his, his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. What is it saying? Don't y'all miss this? God even created the enemy. That's right. See, you worried about the enemy, and you are in God, and God created him. I created the waster to destroy. So let me ask you something. Why are you worried about the devil? Because he told me, he said, old things are passed away. And behold, what? New things. So when I can get into new things, then I can tap into purpose. See, watch this. If I could cut this room in half right now, then if I ask, how many of us have discovered your, discovered your purpose? Somebody will probably, probably go up on the table and they're like, what is he talking about? It's about my purpose. I'm just supposed to be working. The devil is alive. God created you. Amen. To do something specific here in the earth. That's right. And so when you tap into purpose, guess what? You not only tap into God, you tap into why you're here. Yeah, I know you were molested. I know you were mishandled. Yeah, I know all of that. But guess what? God going to take the foolish things of the world to conspire the life. Yeah. And oh my God, we're overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And guess what? By the words of our testimony. See, people, people, want, people want the anointing, but they don't want to go to it. See, it costs a whole day. If you want it, you can have it. Because you're going to have to endure some stuff. And you're going to have to play through some stuff till the glory shows up. And when the glory shows up, now you get the power to bring somebody else out. There's something about the glory, church. There's something about the glory. Amen. Amen. He said, when they all was in one place on one accord, you don't even understand if we can all come on one accord, accord even in this room. Amen. People ain't been here rocking mountain. They were just come on through. Who wants the glory? Who wants the 
appetite change? Who wants an appetite change? Oh, I just want the, the things of you, God. I don't care about that. I don't care about this. Uh, let me finish my mission. Let me finish my purpose. It's an appetite change. Watch this. I almost asked y'all if y'all have any questions. <laughs> watch this, watch this. This, this. We're almost there. Look at verse 17, Apostle. This is for you and the lady T. Because you've even spoke this in my life a few times. And I thank God for you. Amen. See, y'all look at him. Somebody was, might say, he ain't no apostle. I know this. Listen, those y'all that really know me, you know I just don't join with everybody. Yeah, that's right. I, I have About a year ago, y'all remember the lights? We had that big storm yeah. in Raleigh. I was all over, really. And our lights was out. My wife had to work. So that left me in the cold house. No heat, and she gone. <laughs> I said, I'm not staying there. Lord, whatever you got to do, Lord said, get in your truck. Go and park in the parking lot and sleep in the truck. For real, Lord, I might as well go down to the brook and be fed with the back of the <laughs> Bread and food. And so that's what I did. Well, the next morning, I got home. Lights were still out, cold in the house. So I walked in the house, sat on the couch. I was like, damn, just praying. And my phone rang. No, he texted, Apostle text. He said, his text was, hey, prophet, is your lights on? And when, when I read the text, the lights popped on. See y'all ain't hearing that. See some people might have just said that was over here today, but God orchestrated that. Yes, God. See, see, see. Part of us missing the mark is we can't see the things of God. When you're able to identify the things of God, you're like, okay, God, I see you, I got you. And guess what? Oh, Lord, thank you, Holy Spirit. And you may not even understand. But at least you see them. Yes. What a prophet say? He said, if you see me when I'm taken up. Yes. See, see, I don't hear with these. See, you hear with your ears. I don't hear with these. I hear with my spirit. I see with my spirit. Because these can mess you up. You think I'm joking? Be around somebody that don't like you and they straight up talking trash about you. And see where your spirit goes if you ain't killed. Oh, but when you're in a good place with God and you right there, they still talking about you, baby, I still love you. You want me to pray for you? And watch this. Some of this stuff, we're going to have we, we got to be tested on. Say, you know what? Let me go test them on it now. So you better have what you say you got. And that's how that's another way the church is missing. You want the mic, you want the say, you want the praise to be on the praise team. But soon as the enemy comes, you can't even pray a headache off. Where is that singing and praising me? Place. And we're going to eat in a 
ready. Watch this. Look at this. He says, now this is for everybody. When we open this up, after young minister Jamal did his praise dance, the spirit was just like, Phew. Y'all remember that? Yeah. It was like a wave of the Holy Spirit just breathed on. Yeah. 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 But this is what I told a brother this. His, his fiance had cancer. And he was telling me, not saying, I won't say, he said, I was witnessing to him, trying to get, encourage him that look, you need to give your life to Christ, but God can heal her. Yeah. And so he, back, he started reciting it back to me. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe he got it. But I got in his face, and this is what I said. I said, I dare you to believe that. When you put a demand on your belief system, see, the enemy don't want you to believe what you're speaking. So you get to be able to put a demand on your belief system. And when you put a demand on your belief system, God goes to work. So why did he say all this? I said that because of this. Watch this. When you can believe this. When you can believe this. Verse 17. He says this. No weapon. See, some of y'all are facing some physical obstacles right now. Right now. Even as, as we, but I guarantee you, if you believe that no weapon. No weapon that is formed. Now, it's, it's got to be formed because it's a weapon. Amen. So it's going to be formed. Against thee shall prosper. And watch this. Everybody that's talking about you. And every time that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. But, but notice at the end, apostle, there's a condition here. That's right. This is for everybody that's not saved. Because if you're not under the blood of the ark of Satan, this don't apply to you. I'm sorry. But that's just the truth. But we're going to open it up for you too. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and the righteousness is of me. Because watch this. Said the Lord. I didn't say that. I didn't say it. God said, said the Lord. So if he tells me, I am a sure No weapon that is formed against me shall what comes against me, it's not going to work. I don't care how it's made, I don't care how it's shot, what form it's getting, it's coming in, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. My wife and I were sitting in the house one night, and Apostle Mary was sitting there, and all of a sudden, a knot came in her, her forehead. And I was just sitting there watching, just looking at it up here, up that head. Just, and I'm looking like, what the world? I said, that's an attack by the enemy. I said, baby, I said, what's going on with your forehead? So she puts her hand in and scared her. Because by that time they got that big. I said, Deborah, you alive. And we begin to call on the name of the Lord. Yeah. Don't you know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower? Yeah. He's not just playing with that name. But when you can let that name work for you, you ain't got to do nothing but call on that name. See, you're trying to force that name to happen. Or force it to work. You said that, you said just call on that name. So when you, but oh, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So when my appetite changes, <laughs> now it's automatic. Whatever happens, I'm calling on that name. That's what happens when the appetite changes. The appetite changes. You ain't got to work. It's automatic now. It's what is a part of you. But guess who understands that? The enemy understands that too. So as you call on that name, he's speaking to your other ears, so why are you calling on that name? I just heard this. You said, well, what do we do then? I'm going to tell you what you do. You can't cry now and spare not. Amen. If he said no sickness shall be in this body, you a believer? I, look, you think the devil don't 
trying to flick me? As many camps on the plate, play pressure on people, diabetes and all of this stuff, people coming out of comas and AIDS. You think the enemy don't try to attack my life? Yes, sir. But you know what I tell him? That ain't for me. That belongs to some Gentile because I am born again. Amen. I know we had a function. Amen. 